Hello, everybody. Today we're reviewing this custom uh, combat combat set that I made. Um, Lego Combat. It's it's a series I've been doing for a couple of weeks for now. Um, yeah, it's a nice set. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. I think this would retail for about ten dollars if it was a real set. And yeah, this piece uh, I counted them all up, and I think it has one hundred thirteen pieces. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. First, we have this spider. She has some nice dual mold legs that came in the uh, from Queenie, and this torso that came from Queenie in the minifigure series. This nice tattered crepe from Batman. This uh, nice hair piece that I got from some minifigure pack, and then this. Little uh, face that is from Cora, I think. Yeah, and then got a little flame piece. Yeah. I so now let's go on to the next figure. And here is I guess maybe the another um, character in the set, which is maybe like uh, you know like the twenty dollar. It's kind of like the character from the twenty dollar Overwatch set. Um, Kind of pedestrian, I guess, maybe. I guess these could be called. Also, the like default skins, I don't know. And that you could get in the game if it was a thing. So, yeah. He comes with a little bit of a, a um, saxophone and this little uh, ray gun and Robin's hairpiece. And it cleverly uses under that Harry Potter's face, which it just covers up just a the right amount of stuff, and if you turn him around back, he has a little smile right there, which is just a little uh, average smile, and he has some nice back printing, this torso, and then this little khakis. So now on to the next figure. Here is Officer Wolf, and I think people will get this for, um, if this became a real thing, people would get this for Officer Wolf, and maybe uh, the first figure that I showed. He uses a very adorable police torso, that this head from the pop book, which is just a great head. Some plain black, uh, 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 white arms, some gray hand, dark gray hands, some plain black legs. These claws from Wolverine, and a book, just with a white Mumbai tile inside. And these two pieces are two extra pieces in the set. They give you a... Well, uh, it would probably give you a one by one plate with stud and a hole in it, and then a claw, so you can take that out of the hole, and then put it into Officer Wolf if you don't want him to hold the book, which is just a little bit of an extra accessory. But I will put the book back in his hand. So it's kind of like maybe like the accessory that he would have. No, uh, there's no um. I guess gotten accessory here, but I guess his claws you could use as his weapon. So yeah, that's basically it for this figure. Now let's take a look at another figure. Let me try to... There. Now let's take a look at the last figure in this set. Here's the last figure. You got this nice hair from Dana of Ghostbusters. Um, nice. This little face from, uh, from I think, Black Widow, maybe? Now entirely sh and then uh, the one from the uh, Infinity War set. Um, you got this little, uh, this piece from uh, these two, uh, this torso and legs from Korra from Tron, and then these arms from the Tron, uh, from uh, Sam Flynn from Tron. This is a nice design, and yeah, it's and just some tan hands uh, as I twist out. So now let's take a look at the mate and uh, the uh, some of the build. Oh no! I technically forgot. They ha uh, I included this one piece, and one more piece. It's a kind of spider piece, and it's it's the old design. I only have the old design of the spider, and with that clip in there, and it's just that classic design. So now let's take a look at the main builds. So here's the first build of this set. It's a little ship for um, this figure that I had in there. And she just fits nicely in there. If you prop her arms up, you got this little nice little ship for her. Um, it has some nice designs with some orange slopes, some little, uh, I guess, little uh, pieces with 
ball ends to make it uh, flare just a little bit, I guess. And then, yeah. So now let's take a look at that at the other design, uh, other um, build. And here's kind of the main build of the set. It's a, it's supposed to be a tree thing. And I, I didn't include one in the set, but uh, you might be wondering why there's a tree, random tree in the desert. Well, and see it's on, on top of this uh, three by three black plate indicating that he uh, that the person who built this, if it is this figure, probably uh, chopped it down with a chainsaw, which would probably be in the game, but I didn't include one in this set because I don't have a chainsaw piece. So yeah, and I couldn't, uh, and I didn't want to uh, really feel like building one. So yeah, and then they used the wood and propped up a little uh, tree fort. And yeah, so if we focus in on some of the features in this, it's got some nice terrain down there, a little bit of uh, cool stuff, and a little place to put one of the figures right here. Or maybe that's also a put the spider. A little dark brown, little um, bush maybe, I don't know. Dead bush, I don't know. And then you got some nice designs with this wood. Um, you got a belt buckle, a, a buckle right there, I guess. And this slick fire missile in red, which is a little bit rare. That you can just slick from the back. If you hold that in. And then you got a little flick fire missile. And you get two flick fire missiles in the set. There's also one up here that uses the same kind of feature. And up there, you got ladders leading up to there, which are just these uh, standard dark gray ladders. And then you got a mounted rifle right here, which you could also use in the minifigures. Uh, and a seat where uh, that, and a, and this little uh, placement. I'm trying to fit a minifigure inside. And yeah, so uh, for this, this the purpose of where I'm, uh, what uh, of how I'm looking at it right now, I'll take off this, and you could fit any of the minifigures inside here, except for maybe the Officer Wolf. Let me see if I could fit Officer Wolf in here. Let's just take up this. Uh, yeah, it kind of fits. Yeah, but really, what it's meant, uh, what figure it's meant for is this figure. Which, if you prop her arms up, she does fit in there perfectly because her hair has just about the amount of indent that you need. And uh, sometimes when you try to put her on, it it detaches some pieces like this little uh, tenda, antenna and radar dish. But really, what we're really looking at is some nice design of that. And... This part is very easy to take off the roof, and if you flick this, you got another flick fire missile, a mounted a little uh, antenna and radar dish. About uh, that is pretty cool, I think, and this little uh, mounted rifle which you could put in the figures. I think I already mentioned that though. So now, um, yeah. So now let's take it on the final product. So let's look at the uh, kind of full product of the set. It is a nice set. I kind of like how I designed it. Um, I think it's cool. It is custom, so you can't buy this at stores like Target and stuff. So yeah, but it is. But yeah, it's pro it, But one thing, this little battle pack is kind of, I guess, I guess, um guilty of I'm so, uh, sorry I'm trying to put this little little um what do you call it a uh, claw back on it but one of it what it is kind of guilty of is putting undesirable minifigures in this set which in this battle pack which the only desirable minifigures could be uh, these uh, could be this this uh, this and this because uh, these uh, these two because yeah, they're kind. They kind of have some good prints and some uh, little funny minifigures, and they'd be kind of maybe a desirable one, uh, some desirable ones. The other two are kind of just like prints and stuff like that, and not really unique. But this one, in particular, is kind of stupid. Uh, uh, kind of stupid because it's just a pedestrian or 
uh, or default skin that you get uh, that you'd probably get. And, and while it is exclusive to the set, we have gotten uh, it would be exclusive to the set, and it's not that good of a deal. So yeah. Obviously, this uh, again, this would retail for ten dollars and has one hundred thirteen pieces, which if which is a pretty good part to piece ratio for a ten dollars set. Which uh, I know uh, people are going to be ranting in the comments uh, saying that t uh, there is a pe a a um thing with uh, with uh, one less minifigure and two more pieces that uh, that would uh, and call Queen uh, and introducing the Queen whatever. Uh, Wanabi uh, set from the Lego Movie Two, but uh, but I really don't care since that was a the that's a we one of the worst deals ever, and that's ten dollars more than this uh, would be ten dollars more than this, so yeah, worst deal ever. So I don't really care. So yeah, so you uh, so yeah, so yeah. Make sure to like. That's gonna end off the video today. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss another video, and goodbye.